So in front of us, we have 0.5. The question is, how do we convert this into a fraction? Well, the first number after the decimal is in the tenths place. And so what we do, since it's the tenths, we multiply it by 10. And when we get, when we have 0.5 times 10, the answer will be 5. We then take the answer 5 and we make it into a fraction. Since we multiplied it by 10, we just draw the little line and we put the 10 on the bottom. So now the fraction is 5 tenths. However, we have to reduce it. We have to reduce the fraction. Now, I hope you know how to reduce fractions, but if you don't, we do have a video for it. But we know the greatest common factor, the GCF, of both 5 and 10 will be 5. So we take the top number, the numerator, 5 divided by 5, will equal 1. And the denominator, number 10, we also divide it by 5, and the answer will be 2. So 0.5, how do we make 0.5 into a fraction? It's going to be half. And to double check, we take 1 divided by 2. So the top number divided by 2. You could always type it in your calculator, but let's do it by longhand. We know that 2 cannot go into 1 because 2 is bigger. So we make the 1 into a 10, and we put the decimal on top right up here. Now we know that 10 divided by 2 will be 5. We put the 5 right up here. We then take 5 times 2 will be 10. We put it right here, and then subtract 10 minus 10 will be 0. So 1 divided by 2 will be 0.5. Here we have two numbers after the decimal. So now this is the hundredths. We know number 7 will be in the tenths place. Number 5 is in the hundredths. So first thing we do is we multiply it by 100. 0.75 times 100 will equal 75. We then take the 75 and we make it into a fraction. And since we multiplied 0.75 times 100, we're going to make the 100 the denominator. So we put it right here on the bottom. And now we got the fraction 75 over 100. We then have to reduce 75 over 100. And so the greatest common factor, or the GCF, will be 25. Once again, if you don't know how to reduce fractions, we do have a video for it. But 25 will be the greatest factor of both 75 and 100. So we take 75 divided by 25. The answer will be 3. And then we take 100 divided by 25, and the answer will be 4. So 0.75 fraction format will be 3 over 4. Once again, 0.75 equals 3 over 4 in fraction format. And if you want to double check, you take the top number, the numerator, 3, divided by the bottom number, number 4. And if you do it on the calculator, it will be 0.75. Or you could do it the long division as well, and you'll get the same answer. Here we got a three-digit number after the decimal, so 0.875. Now we know the 8 will be in the tenths, the 7 will be in the hundredths, and the 5 will be in the thousands. So the first thing we do is, since it's in the thousands, we will multiply 0.875 times 1,000. And the answer will be... 875. We now make it into a fraction. We put 875 on top. That's the numerator over the denominator, which will be 1,000. So now we have a big fraction, 875 over 1,000, and we have to reduce it. And yes, you will have to list out all the 
common factors of both 875 and 1000. I'm not going to do that for you, but I'm just going to tell you the answer. The greatest common factor of both of these numbers will be 125. So 875 divided by 125, the answer will be 7. We then take the bottom number, the denominator, 1,000 divided by 125, the answer will be 8. 7 eighths is the answer. Now to double check, we take the top number, the 7, and we divide it by 8, and the answer will be 0.875. You could use your calculator or use long division, but the answer will be the same.